me show you the trick of how we're gonna create this one command we can perform with one click and do all of these cleaning steps um, so you can work more efficient. So, all right, so let me open this file. And let me show you first how it works and then we will go over explaining how I did it. So again, uh, for this, what I'm gonna do is put half of my screen here and the other half with the drawing file so you can see better. Um, all right, oops, oops, so you're not, let me share my screen again. Okay, so again, let me uh, show you first and then we will explain how we did it. So if we go here on the, uh, where did I save it? Okay, on drawings. And again, uh, I called this the lazy perch because it will it, it simplify my life. It makes it easier. Um, and also because lazy architect uh, architect so that's my, my YouTube channel but anyway you can name it whatever you want so again look at the file size and let's let's do it let's click on it and let's AutoCAD do its thing and if you go here boom you can see that your file was reduced um, dramatically with one single click. Isn't this great, right? That's, you don't uh, need to make your life more complex, but the other way you need to simplify it. And that's why I created this channel to stop wasting time in AutoCAD. If you believe in that too. So I, I really recommend you to join us, subscribe either here on YouTube or on Facebook. We are also live on Facebook. Um, so anyway, so let's now that you know, uh, well, let me open the command line to see what happened, right? So again, uh, Oruka is deleting with the, this command, the lazy perch, uh, deleting and use objects, recaps, uh, fixing your drawings with the audit command that we went over. So basically all the commands that we just went over, uh, I just perform it with one single click. You can see it, all of the objects that were fixed or removed, right? Okay, so now that you know that, um, so let's go uh, with the next steps, which is how I did this, all right? So let's go over here and let's expand this. Okay. Uh, but before that, let me save a copy of this drawing so we can test the lazy perch command that we're going to create. So lazy perch. So I'm going to simply PWGG save this file that is heavy so we can again test it all right so let me go over how we can create this command so the lazy perch command we can create it create it sorry um using the cui command or cui option and pressing enter so here this is the customized user interface um, in autocad and what we're going to do here is, um, so find the regular perch command, right? We don't have, like, a, again, we never have to start something in AutoCAD from scratch. Why? Because there are already things created in AutoCAD that we can reuse. So we don't have to waste time, right? So again, following that uh, idea let's find the, the regular perch command here so we don't have to start from zero so perch if i type perch here so the regular perch command is right here and the lazy perch command is over there but i'm going to create it again so you can have it also so that's the regular perch command and what we need to do 
to here. Let me expand this so you can see better. Is uh, to duplicate it. So let's right click on it and pick duplicate. All right. So once we do that, um, you can see that we already have a nice icon and all of the options. So we don't have to start from zero. And here I'm gonna rename my command. Again, you can rename it as you wish. If you wanna keep it as lazy perch, that's perfect for me. <laughs> so lazy perch as the name of your command. And then the description, again, you can type whatever you want. This clean up your drawing. Uh, I don't know, whatever you you feel is more, um, it goes with this command, right? So, but the important part here is the macro. But before we go to the macro, um, we need to place your new lazy perch command in a, in a location where you can use it with any drawing, right? You don't just wanna use it with this, you wanna use it with your floor plans, elevations, and whatever drawing that you need. So in order to have it available, what we need to do is select the new lazy perch command. Uh, once you have it highlighted and selected, you can right, no, sorry, left click on it and hold in it. You can move it up like so. And the easiest way is here in the quick access panel. So if you release it here, like so, you can see that that's your lazy perch command. So you can, that's the easiest and fastest way and the quickest way to have your commands available. Again, I added here the ribbon because I customized my whole uh, ribbon, but that will take a lot of time. And if you don't know how to do it, it will give you trouble. We will go over that if you want to uh, on another live stream. But for now, let's quickly get it on the quick access panel right here, lazy perch. Okay, so and then finally, uh, we're gonna modify the macro code over here. Okay, so in order to modify it, let's go here on these three dots and open it. And here we're gonna uh, erase this because we don't need that. Um, so the CC, we do need it because um, this is a way for AutoCAD to cancel or cancel uh, uh, or close any running or active commands so you don't cause issues. And then we're gonna do the same steps that we went over. So starting with the audit command, so audit, and then pressing enter with this semicolon that it's equal to an enter in AutoCAD. So once we did the audit command, if you remember, uh, it will it will ask us to fix any errors, right? And we say, yes, we can type yes, or we can simply type W for yes. To keep things clear, I'm gonna type the entire word, entire word. <laughs> so yes, and press enter again to accept. I think at this point, uh, it won't ask us anything else, the audit command, but again, we're gonna test it uh, to just make sure that it works for you. And then later what we did is um, use the perch command. So we're gonna go perch and then enter of course with this semicolon. And then after the perch command, um, Oops, we need to do the command line version of the perch command because we don't want to AutoCAD when we run this command, if you, if you saw, I didn't get any uh, dialog box or any window that pops out, nothing, right? AutoCAD simply did the job on the background, cleaned up my drawing and it was quick and easy. So. In order to do this, we need to use the command line version of the perch command. So again, perch. And then uh, if I remember, it will ask us to 
uh, what do you want to purge? I'm going to say all, all the objects uh, that it's not being used, such as blocks, layers, and so on. So all the objects. And then if I remember, it will ask us, uh, do you want to verify each name? And of course, we don't want that. So I'm going to say, no, don't verify it. And then press enter. And then we needed to clean up the regaps. Remember the uh, regaps objects. So again, I'm going to use perch, enter. And this time, instead of, um, oops, I just forgot. On, on the perch command, once we said all, I think it asks us um, something else. Uh, let me let me double check that. So I'm gonna copy this and cancel it. So let's go to the lazy perch command. And yes, it asks us for the asterisk. Remember. So let's go back and again paste that. So after the all. Uh, it will ask us another thing and we say everything with the asterisk. So, and then we say no. So again, for the perch command, for the re re deleting the recaps, uh, this time, instead of all, we're gonna say R for recaps, press enter, and then asterisk, enter, no, to not verify anything, enter. And then finally, we're gonna need uh, the save command to save our drawing so we can see the results, right? Whenever you clean up your drawing, you always wanna save. So I'm gonna use the Q save command and then press enter again. So this is basically the small macro code that we're gonna need, audit, Purge all and then to purge the rig apps and then save our drawing. All right. So at this point, I'm going to click OK and let's test this command to see, you know, that it works. It doesn't have any errors. And if it does, we can fix it quickly. So let's click OK. Um, and just to verify, since I already did it over here, purge all, asterisk no, purge. Apps, no, yep, so it should work. So I'm gonna click apply and then okay, all right. So let's go. This command can perf can be used either for model or paper space, it doesn't really matter, right? So just for your knowledge, and let me open this drawing, open file location. And let's go over here. Oops, okay, it's right here. So I'm gonna test it with this file that we, we save it. So let me close this so we don't get confused. So let me open a new file again, again, just to test it to see that everything works. So that's the file with 2000 and something KV. So let's open it to test your new lazy perch command. <laughs> okay, so let me um, place my screen to the side so you can see things better. And this is an important moment. Will this command work or not? <laughs> I hope it does. So lazy perch, we added it here in the quick access panel and let's test it. Great, it did. <laughs> can you see it? So it went down and of course you can use it again if you want. Let's see if it keeps uh, slowing. Uh, making your file smaller or not. Sometimes it does. So if I use it again, <laughs> you can see now it even, if you use it again, the lazy perch command, it went now from 700 KB to 200. <laughs> Isn't that great? 
and again just checked everything all of the things that were erased and clean and so on so that's uh optimizing your drawings here in out